partake of the Lord's table together. Uh, what a precious word Mihiri shared about uh, putting our lives right with the Lord and falling in love with Him once again. Uh, you know, I was so blessed by the prayer she prayed. And uh, even as we prepare our hearts to partake of the Lord's table, let's just uh, read from 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 23. And it says that, uh, that the Lord Jesus, on the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and he said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And in the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink in remembrance for me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. You know, church, even as we partake of the Lord's table, his body was broken for our healing and his blood was shed for the forgiveness of sins. And this uh, morning, even as we partake of the Lord's table, I just felt very strongly, we, let's focus on two aspects. Uh, the Lord reminded me about the Passover meal. And even as we apply the precious blood over the doorposts and the lintels of our hearts, that we would stay protected. That Psalm 91 says, no pestilence or plague shall come near our tent, because we're in covenant with Him. Amen. And even as we do that, uh, you know, let's even as we partake of the Lord's table, let's thank God for His protection. But I also want to pray very specially, and, and let's uh, remember uh, Shani and Arabinda's daughter, Eliana, who needs a miracle. And, uh, you know, even as we hold this wafer, let's remember that His body was broken for her healing, His blood was shed for her forgiveness and for wholeness and for abundant life. And, uh, you know, if there's anyone here who needs a touch, you know, from the Lord, you need healing, you need God to come through. Let's just remember those situations and uh, let's partake of the Lord's table together. Father, we just thank you. We thank you that your body was broken, your blood was shed for us. And Lord, we remember today and we thank you for your protection over us. We appropriate the power of the finished work of the cross. We apply the precious blood of Jesus over our lives and over our homes. Father, we thank you for your protection. We thank you that no pestilence or plague shall come near our tent. And Father, today we also pray very specially. We remember little Eliana. Lord, you created her in her mother's womb. And Father, we pray for complete healing. We pray for a creative miracle. We pray, Lord, for a new heart, Lord Jesus. Father, we pray, Lord Jesus, that, that, you, that her body would function in the perfection into which you have created it to function. Father, so we come up against any malfunction in that body in the name of Jesus. We thank you by the, uh, by the stripes that you bore. Eliana is healed in Jesus' name. We thank you for your blood. Lord, we apply the precious blood. Lord, over her life as well. And we declare abundant life. We declare life, life, life in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, we commit every family and every home and every individual into your hands. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. Let's party together. God bless you, church, and may you have a blessed week. May your homes be blessed. May your lives be blessed. Peace be upon you. God bless.